and welcome back to Getting Out of the Red on Cultured Left Foot. Um, right, well, today is game day. We are playing, playing Cesar Vallejo in the Torna del Inca Cup, a cup I still have no idea how it works and I'm far too lazy to look it up. But as you can see, we are sitting in second place um, behind Juan Alic, um, who haven't lost a game yet. Uh, we've only lost one, which was to one Alic. Um, we lost 2-1, but if we look at our results over the last few games, the last live comedy did was against the same opponents as today, Cesar Vallejo, um, and we beat them 3-1. We went on a good run with a 3-0 win, a 2-0 win, um, and then we lost, as I said, to one Alic to 2-1, um, and then we drew 1-1 with Sport Hakayano, um, which was a bit disappointing, to be honest. We absolutely battered them. Um, we have a goal scorer, it appears to be, in Carlos Preciado, who's doing well. Fended off quite a lot of interest in him, got him down to a new contract. Um, well, signed him, got him on a one-year extension contract. So that's some pretty good news. Um, yeah, um, what else has happened, really? We've had a few more ins and outs with the transfers. So look at our history. Um, Fernando Canales went to the Ukraine to join Metalist for 250k. Um, I think I've been ad really because he's worth 1.5 million now. So um, brilliant. Yeah, um, and he was our starting left back. But the board were like, yes, money, money, money. We'll have that. Um, George Forsyth was worth 33k. So when New York offered me, I think it was 50, and I pushed my luck and said, I'll have 100. Um, when they said, yeah, that's all right, I said yes, because he's 33. Um, so although he, as a keeper, he'll be hitting his peak, I thought, you know, we could invest that money a bit better. Um, and they haven't got his history for when he played. So, yeah, I, I, I'm quite happy with that transfer going out for a 33-year-old. Um, coming in, uh, Sergio Penna is coming on loan from Granada. Um, something I didn't realise until I looked in his history was that he was actually on loan at us last season. Um and actually played for us before they bought him, so they loaned him back. Hoping in, he'll be able to do well in a um, playmaker sort of role, so that should be good. His favourite is advanced playmaker in attack midfield. I'll be looking to utilise him as a centre mid or advanced playmaker, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then Jose Lorry is the other one we got in, a goalkeeper to replace George Forsyth. I basically searched for some certain stats, um, and he came in at pretty good, he's tall which is good for a goalkeeper, obviously, low eccentricity, which I like. Um, yeah, so quite happy with that, to get him in on the free. Um, I think I already had Gustavo Rodas when he was in, but there he is, um, just to show you again. Uh, very happy with getting him in on the free. Um, but yeah, so the finances are looking a lot better, according to that we started 21 and 18 million pounds in debt. Um, we were given a loan by the bank um, for 16 million, which really helped us out. We're going to pay 3 million interest and it's running until 2040, so we're not going to be paying that off anytime soon. Um, projection wise, we're looking to make quite a lot of money, but gar I can guarantee you if we've got a transfer budget, I'm going to try and spend it. Um, we have a tiny budget at the moment, but I'm, I'm quite happy with the squad. I'm going to see how this competition goes. Um, and then hopefully before the proper league starts, I'll be looking to get in some new players. Um, not too sure what's going on with my thing here. But anyway, so today is game day. Um, this is the team we will be playing. Although our scouts have said we should play a 4-2-3-1, which is what we beat them with 3-1 last time. Um, to be honest, I'm looking for goals in this game. I'm just looking for goals. We are going to start with... Marinelli in goal, Allen at right back, Claudio Perez at centre back, those two on loan from Boca, um, Diego Minaya at centre back, Luis Trujo at left back, who's fended off a lot of competition for his signature, got him on a new contract as well um, until 2020, which I'm very happy with. Um, right wing Manco prefers to play a bit higher up, but can do a job there. Uh, new guy Sergio Penna, he's getting his first start in centre midfield. Captain of the club, Cristiano Meja at centre mid, um, in there to win the headers. Julio Landauri at left wing. Gilovino up top with the goal machine that is Carlos Preciado. And on the bench we have uh, Alejandro Camp... No, we don't. He's not going on the bench. New goalkeeper, Jose Lorre, is on the bench. 
Carlos Garcia and Angel Romero are the defensive options. Claudio Garcia. Osna... No, I'm um, right. I know it's not even his name, but he's becoming my little Oscar. Oscar, Gustavo Rodas and Marco Rodriguez are the attacking options on the bench. So, let's not mess around. Let's get straight into it. They predict they're going to line up the 4-4-2. Um, what I've done is the scout said they've got a lot of their goals from the left wing, so Alan's going to play a bit more defensive, and they're also weak on their at their right back. Um, yeah, at their right back, so we're going to exploit the left wing. And I've turned off retained passing, which I normally do because I think we can, I think we can get at them. I think they're actually bottom of the group um, at this stage of the competition. So submit that team. Yeah, that's fine. He probably won't see how the game. We'll see how he does. Goalkeeper can get number one. Right, um, and we're going to be off, I think, so on to the game. Yeah, we're lining up pretty similarly. Um, let's see how it goes. What does he say? He says just turn that put onto his weaker foot. Yeah, that's fine, but I'm also going to tightly mark their strikers, um, and I'm going to cut off their left winger, and also their left back is going to get some hard tackling on him and we'll close down their right winger as well just to stop any crosses coming in because we all know what crosses are like on foot manager 16 massively overpowered but there we go um yeah go out there and impress me today boys um brilliant that didn't really work so do the old classic um i've got massive faith in every single one of you let's go and get some goals Right, and the game's kicked off. Um, their kickoff, Diaz gets it. Oh, tackled straight away, lovely. Into Landauri. This normally, there we go, I was gonna say, normally the highlight finishes early, so there we go. Um, while we're, oh, um, giving his, oh, his hurt foot, that is gonna stop him shooting properly. Annoyingly, I think today is, his, well, today is his debut. It's gonna have to be cut short. Um, and we're gonna have to bring on Rodriguez who no, he can stay as a target man on support get some support up there for the goal scorer yeah it's a lot more to come from you can't remember what you did last time but it wasn't enough so there's always a lot more to come um yeah while we're waiting for the next highlight guys uh if you like the video and like the idea of the challenge please hit that like button uh, it means a lot to me leave me comments about how bad my pronunciation is um and what you think i could do with the team but anyway mayo wins the header plays a nice one two with rodriguez um, just waiting for some movement now. He's put it into Prashado. Flicks it out wide. Manco square. It's in Landauri. And it's 1-0 at the back post. Winger to winger. Lovely stuff in the words of Alan Partridge. Um, yeah, and that's put us up into top spot in the league as well. 1-0 up. Prashado saw the run of Manco. Got around the back of his man. Into the back post. Landauri. Header. Top corner. Goal. Simple as that, boys. Keep it up. Um, not quite exploiting the left flank as I told them to, but who knows, it's probably pulled their system out of shape. Um, we've dropped down to second, which means, yeah, Juan Adic have got a goal back and it's one all in their game. Uh, right, we've got another highlight, so Trujillo out to Landauri. This is the left wing we wanted to exploit. Into Prashado, hold it up, can he get a cross in? He's knocked it back to the captain, Mayher, Penner, Landauri. It's back post Manco, oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. That is a great save from Libman. Okay, Landari with the corner. He's trying to pick someone out who wasn't there. They're going to counter. Diaz is after it. And he's... Did that cheeky go for goal? No, oh, well, commentator says delivers it to the back post. Anyway, Landari near post. Mayer off the post. Gave Goku saved it again. Penner off the post. And it's a scramble and it's in. That will be very interesting. Carlos Placedo gets his eighth goal of the season, um, which is mightily impressive. And he's carrying his form. Look at this. Keeper saves it. Keeper saves it. Keeper saves it. Keeper saves it. Off the post. Hits a defender. Slide tackle. Didn't quite put it in. Prashado in the end had a massively open goal. That could be one of the more comical goals I've ever seen on Football Manager. Um, it's times like that I'm happy for the 3D highlights that I have. Anyway, it's 2-0. Uh, five minutes, well, ten minutes to go in the second half. Penner gets it. Flicks it out wide to Allen, who's on a defensive duty. So I don't know what he's doing up there. Poor cross. Libman grabs it. Is that the end of the highlight? Uh, he's put a big long kick in. Silver's won the header. Out to Pando. That's an absolutely awful shot. Absolutely awful. Um, 
yeah, so it looks like we're going to take a 2 0 lead into half time, which is good. Um, and remember, guys, we beat these 3 1 last time, so let's hope we can better that result and hope that Juan Adic concede as well, because we'd like to be top of the group before we play them. Um, yeah, it has. It's been. It's been very good. So calmly tell them it's been very good. They will love it. Crack on then. Not change. I'm not going to look at Prozone. We're two 0 up. Um, I think we'll just keep trying to exploit that left wing. Uh, keep the ball with the short passes that we're doing. Um, yeah, see how it goes. If they get a goal back, we'll have a quick look at it. See what we can exploit. They're looking pretty knackered, to be honest. Um, our centre midfielders are knackered, but or getting knackered. I'll leave them on for a bit longer. They've made all three subs now, so. You know, hopefully we can exploit that as the game goes on. They're going to get more tired and tired with the players they've left on. So anyway, Cedron as the ball for them. Quinteros into Visa. Oh, don't Marinelli's got there and they've pounced on it and it's Silva has put the ball in the net. Um, that's thoroughly, thoroughly disappointing. Marinelli better have a very good excuse for not being able to get up quickly enough. Well, he's just well, yeah. That annoys me on Football Manager. Keepers aren't that slow. Even I'm not that slow at getting up. Oh. Anyway, it is 2-1. Um, they have got a goal back, so let me have a look at what the old pro zone stats are saying. They're playing pretty central. We are not using the left wing, as I've told my players to do, which is Therese annoying. Um, they seem to be pushing up on this right. Um, we're playing a pretty flat 4-4-2 um, you know what I, let's just see if they've got anyone who's controlling the game for oops, turn that off. Contra controlling the game for them so 9-9-9 9 is the only one really sticking out at the moment for us yeah we've got some pretty decent key passes going on so Going in, number nine, Pando can be closed down and shown to his weaker foot at all times. They've changed their wingers, so we'll just keep it up with what we're doing. Centre midfielders, no, it's fine. Right, well, we're going to keep it as it is for the time being. Um, we might make some subs around the 65 70 minute mark, which is coming up. Oh, we're back to top, that's good. One Aruch, one Aruch have conceded. Um, Sergio Penner is apparently looking exhausted. Oh, I'm not surprised. Oh, he's having a good game. I don't like taking people off that are having a good game. Claudio Garcia can come on. Mayer's going to stay on because he's the captain. Um, unless he really starts to die. That's what we're going to do for now. Yes. Get out there, Garcia. Get out there and give us a bit more of a comfortable lead, please. Um, it's been a bit of a highlightless second half apart from their, their goal. Um, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, here we are, another highlight. Marinelli with a long ball forward to Rodriguez. Back to Garcia. Manco on the right wing. Mayer. Oh, Alan. He's trying to creep forward. I can see him. Garcia. Flicks it out to the left wing. Lovely ball. Landari. He's put it in. Prashado straight at the goalkeeper, and he's got to be doing better. And with his record, you think he would. What I'm going to do is... Get him back on a support role because he's trying to sneak up there anyway. They're not offering that much really. We're bossing the game. Six clear cut chances we've had and we've got two goals. This is not really. I mean, I'll take I'll take a win. A win's a win, but six clear cut chances and two goals. That's, that's pretty poor. We need to be converting more of them. Um, I said I don't like to do it, but Mayer's going to come off. Um, oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Stay on defend. Um, he was just knackered Maya and Manco is going to no he's not Manco is going to stay on because there's no one on the bench to replace him oh that's all I've done all three subs anyway so it's, it's like I knew subconsciously it's like I knew anyway so all three subs done the dice have been rolled as they say and they've got an attack we have a good tackle Manea that's good Landari back to Marinelli. Oh, Marinelli's giving it away, and Pando has put it over the bar. Marinelli's had a bit of a shocker. He's taken about an hour to get up off the ground, and he's just passed it straight to their forward. Um, yeah, okay. It looks like, touch wood, 
we are going to hold on for this 2-1 win. Not very comfortable. Um, no, no. Marinelli makes a save and then the whistle's gone. It's 2-1. Um, that was a lot less comfortable than it probably should have been. Um, a good solid win. I don't quite know about that. It was, yeah. That's, well, obviously they're happy because I'm lying to them. Um, it was, I mean, we've bossed it, haven't we? We've absolutely bossed the game, but yeah, we should be scoring more. Good possession. I'm happy with that. Happy we didn't foul as much as well. Um, but still, that's yeah, six clear cut chances. Got to put more of them away. Um, and Juan Aric did lose, so that moves us. Top of our group after six games. Um, four wins, one draw, one loss, plus seven goal difference, 13 points, which is a good start for a competition that I don't really understand. Um, I mean, it must be quite important because it's the fourth highest cup competition in the whole of South America. So there you go. If you if you ever need any clarification that I'm hopefully going to win the fourth best cup competition in the world, in sorry, South America, then uh, there you go. I mean, it's under the Northeast Regional Competition in Brazil, but that doesn't matter. That does not matter. That's um, suspicious as well. So we won it last in 2014, but no one won it for three years. Okay. Um, very confusing. Right, well, a vintage display ensured our win, but we don't need to worry about that. I'll go through all the news in a minute. So the schedule, I think we'll be back for the what could well be the deciding game to see who tops the group against Juan Adich. Um yeah yeah I think we'll do that so I'll play these three games um, in between and sort out some of the tactics and stuff and hopefully get something sorted so that we can put some of these clear cut chances away um, and I'll see you back for that game um, please guys as I said before if you like the video hit the like button if you like the idea of the challenge hit the like button um, if you don't Leave me a comment. Tell me what you'd like to do. Um, hopefully it's not just give up and go away. Uh, I quite enjoy doing these videos. Well, I really enjoy doing these videos. I love playing Football Manager and I love hearing from you in the community. So please, guys, any feedback is much appreciated. Hit smash that like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. Um, and follow me on Twitter if you want to, at CulturedF, I think it is. I need to. Uh, I should know my own Twitter handle, shouldn't I? Yeah, at CulturedF. It's on my YouTube banner. Um, yeah, so cheers guys and I shall catch you in a bit.